guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So today we're doing our weekly tag challenge and I picked out some eight and a half by 11 paper, which is really cardstock. Um, and we're going to make three tags today. Um, some weeks I may do four tags, but today we're doing three. Last week we did three and this is what they came out um, as. These are the side tuck tags and um, yeah some of them have extra tuck spaces like this one has a spot at the top this one has one side tuck and this one has a double tuck on the side okay or vice versa anyway this is what they ended up looking like I did a little bit more embellishments on them as you can see but um, essentially this is what they came out to look like let's go ahead and cut down some paper in the same shape as the previous and uh, this way we know that they'll all fit into the journal with the same angles here at the tag uh, shape area um, this is just some cream cardstock that I pulled from my stash I'm going to use some of this uh, to make the rest of the embellishment for the actual tags here are my tags. I have one more that I need to cut into the shape of a tag. And today I think we're going to do from our prompts here, um, let's do a front pocket. Sure, why not, right? <laughs> let's just do a front pocket tag and then we can embellish it and decorate it with any one of the other items on the materials list and even some that's not on there, okay? There's no rules, no, um, no pressure. <laughs> This is just a fun little project that I think will turn out really cute in the end. I also went ahead and cut my pieces for my spine that's going to go on the edge of the tag just like these right here. So this is a one inch spine that I've um, scored in the middle so it's half inch on both sides. One will connect to the tag, the other side will connect to each other. And I don't know if you guys stuck around to the end of the video um, on the previous video, but I did find, I did, <laughs> I did find those binder rings that I was telling you about. So these are the little binder rings that's going to um, hold everything together. And I'm hoping that these are wide enough because by the time we're done, we're going to have a pretty chunky uh, journal. So if these aren't big enough, I do have some larger um, binder rings that we can use and we'll more than likely be attaching these together so that I don't misplace any of these tags in the process of the next seven weeks. So let's just get started. So again, I cut down my paper to five by seven and I cut the seven side first, leaving me all of this left over to play with. So um, this is where that was and my spine was over here and I cut it to measure that top angle right there. I know it's hard to see paper uh, the same color um, but trust me it's all it's all there. I'm just going to use my scissor to cut the same angle on this last card and it's really as simple as that. They're all the same size so all their angles should be the same as well. All right, and there's that. Let's do, um, let's work on our pocket because we're doing the front pocket. I'm gonna take the remainder of my card here, grab my small guillotine if I can find it. There we go, <laughs> craft the lanch. All right, and I'm just gonna cut this down to five inches. I'm gonna use this large section right here to make my front pocket for for all uh, three journals. And let's do it this way. I'm gonna cut it down to five inches. Hmm, how am I gonna do this? Let's do it this way. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I'm gonna cut this down to five inches right here. So anyway guys, um, if you guys are participating in this uh, challenge, just let me know by hashtagging um, or you can hashtag uh, WTC, which is the weekly tag challenge that I'm using, or you can just at Chronicles of a Crafter on whatever projects that you're using in whatever social media that you are um, 
um, posting it too and I will find you and show you guys some love I am a little behind on some of that I know I promised that but I just recently got around to um, well let's just be honest I lost my password to my Instagram and <laughs> I had to jump through some hoops to uh, get it back and then um, yeah so I just recently got logged back into IG and went through all of my tags everyone that tagged me in their project and um and yeah so yeah i went ahead and went through and and you know double tapped everybody's projects so you guys did a great job on your um your index card scrap a piece challenge so i'm really i'm really glad i got back into my my account all right so i'm going to do some gussets let's see maybe i'll do two with the gusset and one without and maybe let's see how many different types of gussets do I know how to do I can do let me just cut this down to the right size which is about an inch hmm. um, I'm trying to get it to the same size as the previous so I'm just gonna chomp this down like right here at four inches. Okay. And um, we'll cut this down to about an inch to give us a nice wide gusset. So okay. So that'll be one pocket, right? And I'll show you guys how I score these to create the gusset. And I'll cut another one down to about an inch. Let's do let's do an inch and a half on this one. I'll make one that's just a slightly larger than the other. All right. Okay. So let's see. For this one, we're going to um, yeah, make sure that they're the right size and shape all right so i'm just going to score this at half inch so you can place these anywhere that you feel comfortable on your scoreboard and then um score it i'm doing a half inch i don't see my other yeah that's not going to work i need my scoring tool this one up here doesn't really work that well for me i mean it's it's good in a, in a pinch, but um, I prefer my We Are Memory Keepers scoreboard uh, scoring tool. All right, so I'm just scoring these at about a half an inch, considering that there is a score mark and one side will be larger than the other. It usually happens that way. Um, and then this one I'm going to score in multiple places. So let me just get this over here. I am going to score this at, let's just see, just basically every quarter of an inch. So I scored it at a quarter, a half inch, three quarters, one inch, and then one and a quarter because this is a one and a half inch um, sheet of paper. And then we're just going to, um, I guess this is like a fan fold, accordion fold where you fold back and forth onto the, onto the paper. And it just creates like this little accordion vibe going on. All right, and this is what it looks like when we're done, right? It just, okay, so <laughs> I don't know why I made that sound, but <laughs> uh, that's going to end up <laughs> as our gusseted uh, area for that pocket. And again, I'm doing the same thing for the other side of the pocket so it'll just go fold it back and forth back and forth on itself and what you want to have is um, your two sides and I'll show you guys what I mean but your, your front and your back of the accordion pocket to be in the same direction so that um, so that they both are glued down okay so this side is facing up and then this side is facing up so can you see that right they're both facing up so you'll end up with like a weird W if you did just um, if you did an inch you'll end up with a weird W but we have this 
multi-pocketed gusset thingy going on okay so same thing with this one right okay and then for these what we're going to do is I'm just going to give this pocket just a little bit of a gusset so it'll just be a little something extra um, for this pocket and all you do is you snip off little triangles to reduce down the bulk whoops and to make sure that you get it even on both sides you can use the previous piece that you've just snipped and snipping down just to reduce the bulk okay and that'll be our other gusset our third pocket will not have a gusset I'll just do just a very flat back pocket and that'll be the end of that let's start gluing down these pockets at least to their gussets and um, and then we can work on decorating the entire card, including the pocket. And I'm just going to use some art glitter glue because it's here. And I'm gonna place some glue directly down right here. So I hope you all are having a super crafty day enjoying your crafting spaces especially this awesome weather that we're having right now I'm loving it it's nice and brisk out and um, you know for some of y'all it may not be that that nice but here in this central Florida area it is really nice it's a nice time of year for me anyway um, I don't know if it's like this every year but it's definitely nice out right now so yeah but I hope y'all are making the most of every day and um, there's our little pocket right there and that will fold back on itself to create that little gusseted area I'm going to also snip down this side as well I'll let it dry for just a second I don't want it to shift on me and it seems like it just did all right so I'll let that dry for just a moment and then I will snip down the back sides of the pocket to reduce the bulk that's going to be glued to the tag let's do the same for the accordion pocket and you want your accordion well I guess it really does it really matter hmm I'm gonna say no I'm gonna say no it doesn't really matter um, but you do want this end of your accordion to glue down to your pocket just like so and I'm just gonna hold this in place for a hot second so that it starts the bonding process and then I'll give it a smush And that'll reduce down the amount of glue that oozes out as well. So there's that. And then I will accordion the other side as well. So, yep, just a little bit of glue. just right on the edge of the tag. Oh, I'm not even in frame. Why didn't somebody say something? Hello? Okay. All right, so there's our other pocket. We'll decorate the front of this and then we will put our scalloped, okay, our scalloped thumb notch in there also let's start looking at how we're going to decorate so according to our prompts we can pretty much use anything we want newspaper book page um, paper pack washi stickers you can do whatever you want from the materials list which is right here so these are all of the items that we can possibly use throughout the process you can stencil rub on transfer use some um, 
you know, paper dolls, um, receipts, journals, or die cuts, and just about anything else. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if it can glue down onto your tag, you can use it. Okay, so our pocket is going to absorb the majority of this um, tag. So all we need to do really is decorate about maybe about another inch below the pocket because that's where our scallop punch is going to expose the inside of the pocket. So all I'll really do is just decorate about this much, about two thirds of the actual tag. And I'm just going to collage it because why not? It's so simple. I'm gonna use some Elmer's Craft Bond all over the top uh, two thirds of this tag and collage my book page onto the tag itself and I'll just I can tear it with my hand I'm not partial to any ruler or anything but I do have a wheel memory keepers ruler handy just in case so I'm just gonna layer this just about anywhere on here making sure that I cover the essential parts like the tops and the sides and yeah we're just going to layer some stuff and do some mixed media decorating of this tag right here I still have um, this is some zodiac paper it's a little it's a little too square for me so I'm just gonna tear around the edges here try to keep all of it intact like the writing you know and um, we'll ink it and then I'll put this down on here as well and I'm gonna place it like right around here so that it'll be partially tucked inside that pocket because we don't need a whole lot of it I just want to make sure that it's um, almost right side up so yeah I'll place it let's place it like that okay and then I will remove the excess off the edge and ink there as well so let's cut this side down and I'll ink right there okay this way it looks like one continuous piece so here is our little gusseted pocket I'm going to place this like right on top of here like so and put a scallop a scallop edge through here just centrally try to get it as centered as possible right sort of and um, let's tie this whole thing together with some of this same ink right here so I'm just going to ink along the edge of the entire gusset I kind of like that little zodiac symbol and yeah I like what I've done to it by inking it with this peacock feathers so yeah I'm just going to do that all the way around the edges of this pocket as well as my little scallop notch right there okay so I'll let this dry for just about a half a second and then I will um, clear gesso it in the meantime I'm going to clear gesso this one or you know clear gesso Mod Podge mixture pretty much the same in my book and uh let's just do our finger like what are we doing like i was gonna go look for a brush but why right i'm just gonna use my finger all over this right here and you can feel the um the thickness of your layer with this if you have too much in one section just bring it down to an area that you don't have enough okay so there, there's that. Perfect. And we can do the same thing to this. I believe my glue is pretty dry, but my inking is not. So I'm going to try to stay away from the edges and just um, 
just get on the paper itself. And you want to clear gesso or uh, Mod Podge your paper or um, you know distress medium your paper before you do any stamping or rub-on transfers or anything like that because your paper um, will adhere the uh, the grit of the of the clear gesso or the Mod Podge or whatever will adhere will allow the um, the stamping or the inking whatever you do whether it's um, stencils or rub-on transfer it'll allow it to adhere to it better it's kind of like when you want to um, paint a, a you know piece of furniture you want to sand it a little bit to get that grit on the wood so that your um, paint will stick to to the wood otherwise you'll just peel it right off and you'd be wasting wasting your time and your your paint and this one should go just a little bit faster because we have an idea what we're doing and the pocket is smaller so here is the pocket for this tag I'm just going to cut away the excess like so just two little triangles and again this one is going to go like right here front pocket um, tags are what we're making in case anybody forgot <laughs> So yeah, again, I'm just using book page, and I think this time I'm going to use like a map from a book page. So let's find a map book page. Mm. Let's see, I want a nice, a nice big map. Ah, here we go. This one's almost the size of the entire tag. All right, almost, almost as wide, almost as tall. So uh, that works for me. And I'll just cut away the tops. <laughs> this is like the most nerve wracking part. You don't want to cut your tag. So I'm just like really focusing on that, All right? And uh, wherever there's no glue, I'll just add some more. Okay. And then we can ink our edges. And I'm sticking with my peacock feathers because I like it. I like it in this project. It kind of works. It works for me. And it's different, right? First of all, it's my favorite color. Like <laughs> this shade of blue or blue green or whatever this is called is one of my favorite colors in the whole world. Like it just reminds me of the ocean, like, like the Caribbean ocean, the Mediterranean sea. Like it's just such a pretty blue. So yeah. And I just added a little bit more ink, um, glue underneath that section that didn't have any. So that's going to go right there. And down here is our gusseted pocket, right? The one we need to decorate. And for this, I think I will add, I will add a personal letter. Like right there. And around it, I'll add some book page. I'll ink this. Let's see. Let's ink this with some black soot. Distress oxide. Mm, okay. Make it look really grungy, like someone's been holding on to this forever. And what I can do is bring it down to the bottom and just put some more book page at the top only because I still have to cut in my thumb notch up there. So I'll just grab some of any old section of a page and place it right up here at the top because it's going to get removed. The majority of it anyway will be torn away. So, And that works out really well. Okay, so I'm just going to snip this off and then snip this side off. And then 
cut away the excess here. And then glue down my little handwritten note to the bottom here. So there's our little pocket with the little, a very small gusset. This is the tiny gusset. And I'll just centrally chop this. Now we have another little scalloped edge right here that I'll ink. Go around the entire thing. That's nice. All right, so we'll do that. This guy right here is still trying to dry, so we'll come back to him, and so is this. We'll move on to our third and final, um, uh, what do you call it, <laughs> a tag, and again, I'm just using book page. Book page is the, um, the material for this week, and then we'll decorate shortly after that. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, so I've laid out my... Uh, the tags the way I want them decorated in this process. These are just the pockets laying directly on top of the, um, the tag itself. So I'll see how much of the decoration is going to be seen. Um, as you can see here, I'll have to remove some of this section. But this is just my layered pieces as well as my rub-on transfers. So let me just go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to start right down here with this tag. Um, this one is the most dry. I did not, um, I didn't, uh, uh, what do you call it, you know, clear gesso it at all. And these pieces right here are going to go down at the bottom, like so. But first I want to glue down my layered pieces because these are the ones that need to be at the underneath the rub-on transfer. So I'm just going to grab a new glue stick. This is, well, not new, but um, a different glue stick. This is my Scotch Create Permanent Glue. Um, again, it's safe for photos, so it's definitely safe for this project. And, yeah, I'm just going to put it down right about there. So now my rub-on transfers, I'm just going to layer it right at the edge, both on all three sides, so here right at the edge of here and right over here. And then I'm just gonna use my bone folder and start rubbing that into place. So yeah, I like the way it came out. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that same pattern on the opposite side. So this one will go right here. I'm just gonna make sure that it lines up perfectly and matches the other side. So now we have this gear. <laughs> So simple guys. All right, and then that'll glue down right here. This is my very flat pocket. No gusset whatsoever. This tag right here, I'm going to do pretty much something similar at the top. I'm just gonna layer my rub-on transfer right on it. So now up here at the top, I can layer some pieces. I don't think I had too many pieces to go up here, but I will just go ahead and layer just something. I'm just going to tear this off. This is just a little ticket and it's actually the bottom section of this ticket up here. So yeah, I'm just going to um, tear it off, glue it down, and then layer some pieces on top of it. Once I'm done, then we can put on our spine to this, these three tags and add it to the collection for this week's tag a week challenge and let's see what else do I want to put on here yeah, I'll just slip that right back there let's make sure it's in frame yep it'll work it'll do and this is just a little journal journal paper or ledger paper for um, yeah like a little excerpt from a piece of ledger paper all right so then we'll just glue this down I'm, and then i'm just going to use art glitter glue and get some glue onto three sides of this card and this for this pocket i um i cut it just a little bit smaller than the other two the other two pockets are four inches deep this one is three and a half 
because it does not have a gusset I didn't think that it needed to be a four inch pocket here's our accordion gusset and I'm just gonna give my page a little a little maneuver to get it to fold appropriately and right there okay so again our, um, our glitter on just this outer band of our gusset this lower section of our pocket and then this outer band of the gusset all right and I think we are about done all right guys let me just clear the space so you can see what we've done today here are our three tags for this week's tag a week project I'm going to grab my little these are our um, spines and I know I said we're gonna do the spine underneath or basically on top of the tag but going back and looking at it I think this is the way that I should put them for maybe all if not most of them so there we have that some of these are still wet but we're gluing down our spines <coughs> to wrap this up so I'm just using our glitter and gluing the spine on one side of the tag just one side of the spine because we scored it at half right so just a reminder that our tags the book will open to the to the left so your spine is also on the left you know the opening of your book will be on the right including our hidden pockets that we did um, or the hidden tucks that we did last week so your spine is always going to go over here on the left hand side of your tag all right so here we go these are the three tags that we did um, some book page we used on a um, beige cardstock just trying to find my notes here so we did our front pocket which are these three right there two of them have gussets one does not we used a book page to decorate um, the fronts of the tag as well as some rub on transfer and I did some clusters with tickets and and um, and uh, numbers let's say all right and then at the end of all of this then we'll decide which tag will get which topper because it can vary based on the actual um, use of the tag so like my uh, side tucks may not get toppers, but we'll have to see. All right. Well, guys, this has been a quite a long video. This is where I'm going to leave you guys. Thanks to each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel, as well as hitting that bell for notifications after you've done so and giving these videos a thumbs up as well as sharing them with your friends and family so i do appreciate each and every one of you for doing so don't forget to tag me in your projects at chronicles of a crafter and you can find all of my links in one location on one link that'll take you to everything um, that i do all right so i'll definitely talk to y'all in the next video stay naturally curious guys and have a super crafty day all right Bye.